Welcome everybody. So all you viewers out there, we are at Toronto Audio Fest 2024 and I'm with one of my favorite brands, Burmeister. And th these guys are awesome. And I don't know if you can see what's behind us here, but this setup is phenomenal. Now, I'm not an expert on this gear, but I know a person who is. Simon, yeah. welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Good all right, to have you on. You. So, um, Let's talk a little bit about maybe the brand first. Okay. Because sure. there's some folks out there that might not be familiar. Yeah. Yep. And let's let's bring them up to speed. So okay. let them know, you know, what's what's the soul of this company? Well, I'll give you a real potted history sure. in a few sentences, hopefully. I normally <laughs> talk too much, so right, I'll be right. good, right? It was founded in 1977 by Dieter Burmester, who was an electrical engineer, but also a professional session musician, a bass player. Oh, okay. okay. Right, that's very cool. So we've always had and this goes for all the staff that we've had over throughout the many years. We've always had a very strong, genuinely strong musical connection with the brand. Okay, he first uh, made a uh, well, it was a, it was like a almost like a professional uh, amplifier head amp. Mm -hmm. It was a pre amplifier, right? Called the triple seven, seven the seven 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 seven. Lucky number seven. Now, now, what's good, interesting about this is that was 1977, and it was <laughs> seven, which was July. Okay. Okay. So, so the seven, first seven, two seven. figures, the first two numbers represented the year and the seven, the month. And that still goes to this day. For example, awesome. that's a 218, which is August 2021, if you see Itch, that point. I had no, I didn't know that. There you go. That's now, now I know, that's, that's great, that's <laughs> Many awesome. people know Burmester for many years and they don't really know what the numbers mean. They think right. they're just... Uh, just just yeah, made exactly. up kind of but, things, but, but there's a meaning. There's a, there's but a, they're not. It's numerology. And Exactly. <laughs> so over that <laughs> consequence, over that next following 50 years almost until now, we've kind of uh, been gradually, but consistently uh, growing in reputation to where we are now as kind of one of the premier home audio uh, companies well, in the world. It's not only home audio though, right? No, correct. We have automotive partnerships with Porsche, Mercedes, and Ferrari. These have been going, the, well, the very first project was actually with uh, the Bugatti Veyron, was the very first nice. in-car system we made. Yeah, I have one in mind. Yeah, in the Veyron, of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. just take Coot <laughs> 2 out in the garage. You, 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 yeah. and, you and everybody else. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And um, consequently, uh, we then started a partnership with Porsche, mm -hmm. and, then, and then Mercedes, and then Ferrari, okay? They use us because of our reputation in our specific sector. You sure, know? yeah, absolutely. The reputation we have in home audio, they really like, you know? And they, one thing I want to say, though, is that the reputation is well earned. Great, yeah, right. Thank you. So that I yeah. mean, and that's and that's big, right? Because people will say, "Oh, you know, we're great. We got a great rep." But the gear is phenomenal, and if you haven't heard it, and I'm sorry to interrupt, but no, I just I just have no, to no, say no, it, right? Do. Because this stuff is is outstanding. I mean, it, it's in a class of its own. You can come to an audio show like this and see and hear tons of different brands, and there are lots of good gear out there. I mean, to to be fair, there's a lot of good gear, but this gear is absolutely at the top level and competes with all of them. That's right. very kind of you to say so. Yeah, yeah. I well, mean, it's just I would agree, but you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, right. I would, wouldn't I? But no, yeah. no. I mean, uh, actually, before I do what I did now, I was a hi-fi journalist, okay? Mm -hmm. And Burmester always had, I'm going back 25, 27 years when I was a hi-fi writer. Right. Burmester always had a reputation then which was always top of the pile, you know? It, was, it had almost a mythical reputation, and we still have it to this day. Right. That's Absolutely. the great thing about the brand. Everything is still 100% made in Berlin, okay. like it was from 1977. Right on. Our most affordable product is made by the same people, with the same methodology, in the same place as our signature level uh, Interesting. That's products. That's great. Because I see a lot of companies that will kind of bifurcate that, right? And they will yeah. keep their top tier flagship gear sure. in their you know traditional manufacturing facility but then they'll yeah. farm out the kind of the entry level stuff for more mass production sure. somewhere else so that's really nice that the quality that you expect from the top flight gear is the same quality yeah, yeah, that yeah. you'll get out of the entry level and you know to be fair again entry levels pretty cool no of course yeah i mean <laughs> that's pretty good entry stuff. level is still a, is, <laughs> it's, is it's still, still high end it's still a pretty high level right yeah. but that's what you get with Burma, so that's what you get when you're making stuff handmade in right. Berlin, from the top to the bottom. Right you know? on. The whole that's team's awesome. based there, there's about 100 people. Mm -hmm. It's still family owned, which is incredibly important. To have a partnership with Porsche, Mercedes, Ferrari, and you're a company of only, what, 100 people? Wow. Being, being family owned is really quite a special thing. That, that's, that's outstanding. Okay, so yeah. uh, enough rah-rah. Let's, let's talk about what the people want. Let's give the people what they want. And that's, let's talk a little bit about the system here. Okay. Um, so for the folks that weren't able to join us in person here in Toronto uh, at AudioFest, 
Um, you know, we're going to tell you a little bit about what's going on here because I've sit and listened to this for a little while. It sounds really cool. It's, it's pretty awesome. Um, and I know that you might not all understand the different tiering of the gear and where this falls mm -hmm. into kind of the, the mix. So maybe you can tell us, you know, is this the, the flagship or the entry level and what are the different pieces that we, we've got here? And I'm going to step off to the side and okay. you, can, you can take the show here. Fine. So what we actually have here is a system from, I would call, well, we have the signature range of products, which is the BC350 and the 159 monoblocks. That's our signature level. Um, this is the next level down, which we'll reference, and this is basically still quite a seriously high-end system, to be honest. Um, starting with the source, this is the uh, latest version, because it's been upgraded uh, in a couple of ways, which I'll tell you, of the uh, 111 uh, Music Center, we call it. 111 meaning, meaning the original was January 2011, okay, for the first one. This latest version has our latest version of what we call our um, X amp um, op amps, okay, which are functioning class A. And it also has uh, a much speedier system compared to the other one in the fact that we now have solid state drive in there. There's actually four terabytes in total. Two terabytes are mirrored by another two terabytes. It also means that you can rip a hell of a lot of music onto that internal system, okay? does it at a very high level. Use two different levels you can actually uh, rip the discs at. The, the one that we, uh, most people most mainly use is what takes a bit longer, but it does it at a much higher level. It takes five copies of a track, for example, and it preserves and uh, uses the best one of those five. So actually, the playback from the hard disk in there is, is phenomenally high quality. I mean, digital doesn't really get much better than the, the, the quality you get from that internal hard drive through that system. That's leading into one of our iconic products, which is the 808 preamplifier. Okay? Quite a unique, well, very unique, individually designed product. 808, that will give you the feeling that it's quite an old product in design. 1980, August 1980. This is now in its fifth version. This is Mark V. So gradually, um, technologies and implementations that we've had over the years designing other amplifiers and preamplifiers, we've actually put into here to the latest versions. It's modular in the fact you'll see it's got a kind of professional audio desk feel to it in the fact that there's individual, shall we say, modules or channels, you know? Each one has a left and right, so you can actually level within the whole, you can level each line or input within the whole preamp um, package as such. Also comes with an external power supply, which is the item that you see there at the bottom. That's now going into a stereo 218 power amplifier. Um, this is fairly recent, one of our latest line of power amplifiers. Uh, conservatively rated at about 140 to 160 on average, you know, but we actually deliver a in general, quite a lot more power than we actually put on paper. We're quite conservative in that respect. That can also be bridged into mono by using, by getting another one and just the simplest way of, uh, of wiring using, uh, using input and output wiring. It doesn't have to be done in the factory. You do it at home and then you've got two mono blocks that deliver a heck of a lot of power, basically, but in a very subtle way. I mean, Burmester's never a, you know, when I first reintroduced the brand in the UK, which is how I originally got on board 16 years ago, uh, journalists and dealers were saying, well, it sounds very different to what I thought it was going to sound. And I would say, what do you mean by that? And they said, well, it's big, it's shiny, it's German, but it sounds really, <laughs> <laughs> really smooth and open and warm and generous, you know? I don't think that's disparaging the Germans. I think it's just what they expected from a sound. And it does deliver a very, very big, generous, warm sound, but it's not covered, you know? It's got the extremely good detail and it's got very good drive and depth and slam when necessary, but it does it in a very, I would say, an enveloping communicative way as opposed to hitting you with a hammer, you know? It's very subtle, but does it with real natural kind of uh, scale. Something like a full orchestra, if you're playing Bruckner or Mahler through a full, this genuinely, a system like this, genuinely gives that scale. And that's mainly due to the fact also, I mean, it's all a chain, but the BC-150 speakers here, which are 150 
thousand US dollars. So you know it's a serious price, and it's but it's a ser likewise it's a very serious product. Incredibly well constructed uh, cabinet using aluminium frame, using multiple ply sides and surrounds, including steel, actually, to really got, reinforce that cabinet. We have uh, AMT tweeters made by Mundorf in Germany to our specification. A front mid-range, come higher base, and then we have a carbon, uh, carbon fiber side firing base unit and port. So nothing unusual, apart from the fact that there is a second AMT tweeter on the back, which is adjustable. Doesn't give you more treble or more high end, it just creates more of an ambience, which creates more of a front to back sound stage and slightly widens the sound. So it, again, going back to that big orchestral stuff, you can raise it a bit higher and you get a lovely realistic sound stage. Um, yeah. There we go, we any questions? It. So. One question I have is, how, how does this slide into the large product portfolio? So okay. are, are we looking at the, the flagships? Or are we looking nope. at, or is this the entry level? So there is, <laughs> this, is <laughs> the, this is the, let's say, if we're talking in hierarchy, mm -hmm. this is the second speaker down. Above okay. this, there's the BC350, Ooh. and that's a beast. That, yeah, sure. the, the that's, B for beast. B for beast, that's a significantly heavy weight, I think right. 400 kilos. Kilos. Per speaker. 400 times 2.2 for people in the United States to get to pounds. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Right, Sorry, so 800, yeah. 900 pounds. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Despite being British, we use stones and pounds right. for our own weight. But right. for everything else, we use kilos. We're very confused. Uh. <laughs> well, I, I do want to say that I like the aluminium. Yeah. See, see how I said yeah, that? Aluminium, but yeah, aluminium. Yes, exactly. So I yeah. feel very uh, uh, exotic now. Good, good. Uh, yes, um, <laughs> and, and, and likewise, this goes for, uh, this This is the next range down. I mean, there's there's... Um, above this, we have the there's a 909 um, uh, amplifier, which mm -hmm. is a slightly older version. That's bigger and more significant in power. Right. And then we have the 159, which is only sold as a monoblock pair. Wow. That, that's around 350,000 US, I think, or thereabouts, right. maybe a bit right. more. So that's that's very uh, seriously big statement. Mm -hmm. um, as far as speakers go, we have. Uh, the next one down from this, you'll, you'll see, you can see at the other end there, which is the B38. It's quite a big, large gap between this and that. And uh, then there are two speakers below that. So okay. you have one, two, three. So we're, we're almost at the top of the line. Absolutely almost, correct. Almost. Yeah, yeah. What we've got here is um, as good get, as it gets in, shall we say, the upper echelons of Burmester before you get to the the big beast of the signature system. Correct? Great. Which awesome. is the monoblocks and the big right. speakers. All right. Okay. Well. Um, everybody that's out there viewing, thank you so much for your time, Simon. Thank okay. you for your Pleasure. time. Really appreciate no it. No problem at all. Um, again, uh, Toronto Audio Fest 2024 with Burmester, uh, flagship company showing their nearly flagship gear. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, like, subscribe, ring the bell, do all those things, and we'll see you in the next one. All right. Thank you. Thank you.